Hey guys, it's Caitlin Rose. Today I'm going to do a makeup collection 2016. I have kind of a lot. Not as much as the uh, big YouTubers and stuff, but I do have quite a lot actually. What I'm thinking is for part one, I'm going to do makeup, like eye products, face products, and like powders and compacts. And in part two, I'll do lipsticks and lip stuff, brushes and eyeshadows. We're going to go through all my mascaras first. The first eye product I have is a mascara. Maybelline The Falsies it is really good. So next I have the Maybelline Colossal Spider Spider Effect. Next is the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Cat Eyes. I really like this. It just kind of dried up a little more than I had liked. Next I have Maybelline The Rocket Mascara. This was also really good. I liked it, but it dried out more than the cat eyes, so that one dried out. Next, this is a mascara I hardly ever use. It's not even that good. It is the, I don't even know what it's called, NYC Showtime Mascara. It's waterproof, so I wear this in the pool. It doesn't even give that much of length or anything. It just kind of darkens them, gives it a tiny bit of length. And it does stay waterproof, so it's not what I put on my lower lashes. Next, on to eye primers. I have, technically, I have four, three and a half. Okay, I just had to plug my phone in really fast because I film and edit on my phone. So I want to move on to my eye primers. The eye primer I use the most probably is the NYX Proof It Eyeshadow Primer. And I got this because I was just having problems with my other ones. Felt like I needed something a little better. Then the next one I have is the e.l.f. one. I pretty much used all of it. I still have a little left. It is really good, um, but I like the next one better. Next is the NYC City Proof 24 Hour Primer. It's pretty good. Um, actually, I used it for, I had to rebuy it because I gave it to my sister. It was like almost gone. Uh, and it falls out of its tube. Then I have the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. This is why I said I had like three and a half because technically this isn't classified as an eye primer but it does work really well as an eye primer. Next, I'm moving on to eyeliners. This is the last um, group of the eye products I have. It's the LA Colors, um, <laughs> uh, what's it called? Liquid Eyeliner. This was a dollar. Um, I had watched, I forget what her name is, uh, but I watched the dollar store makeup challenge. She said it was really good, so I wanted to try it. Next, I have the NYX Waterproof Retractable Eyeliner. Pencil, I think it's called, in just white. Um, it's really good. It lasts on your waterline relatively well, I think. I got it mainly for my costume, and I think you're going to see a video of that. My costume this year, I have doing like a makeup thing, so yeah. Next, I have the Maybelline Master Precise Eye Studio Eyeliner. So that's it for the eye products. Moving on to face products and palettes. Face products. Um, like liquidy kind of concealers and stuff um, and foundations. I have one foundation. It is the Maybelline Matte Poreless foundation in normal to oily. You know, matte. it's in the color ivory. I think this is the lightest color they have. Next, I have the Nivea Men Sensitive Potion Balm. If you've been on the internet at all, <laughs> you probably know what this is. Um, People use this as a primer. Next are my Maybelline Fit Me concealers. I have three in three different shades. Um, I have um, number 10, light, number 20, sand, number 15, fair. I think I had another one too. Next I have the NYX cover stick and it got kind of smushed on the top. Um, I have heard someone say that they used to use this in high school and it worked well, so I got it. And it kind of gives a weird texture under the eye. And it's good for like my nose or if I have a blemish or something. Same thing for this NYX Above and Beyond Concealer in Porcelain, I believe. Yes. It, it's a nice peachy color for the under eye and I would love to use it. Except for it gives a really weird texture to my under eyes. So next for the palettes, I have two NYX products. The Illuminator and the Bronzer. The Illuminator is in Ritualistic and the Bronzer is in Light. I just scraped the bronzer for you. Do, 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 do. Next I have the Wet n Wild Fergie Center Sage Collection 2 Reflection Palette. 
in Rose Champagne Glow. I use this every day as kind of like a blush highlight. It's like not really, it's like a highlight, but it's got a little color to it. I think it's really gorgeous on the cheeks. Next, I have the Wet n Wild Pearlescent Pink Blush. And uh, if I ever wear blush, this is the blush I use. It's the only one I have, pretty much. Gives a nice shimmer, nice color. Good. Next, I have the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in Dolce de Leche. I really like these colors. I use this to set my um, eye primer, and I use this to contour sometimes. Next, I have the um, Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, which I'm sure he did on the internet. You know this is so good, and I use it every day. And then I have the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder for darker skin, and I wish it got lighter skin. I just wanted something to show up. This is a little too orangey for me, but it smells like coconut skin. It's so good. Next, I have the NYX Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder, which again, if you've been on the internet at all, watching makeup guru videos, you know this is a really good one too. I used this for a while until I got some new ones. Can you tell I'm obsessed with bronzers? <laughs> Next I have this e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder and I dropped it so the blush has a little chunk out of it but I used to use this all the time. I really like the blush for a little. It's in Fiji Matte. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, part 2 will be coming soon once I um, edit and upload this one. Uh, and then I think I have a Halloween makeup tutorial coming up. I also have like a room tour and like more makeup videos coming. Um, I'm trying out some new editing tools and stuff on my phone. So I hope you guys like this and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!